All right, guys. I've been telling you about the skink. Let me see if I can shade. You see his tail down there? He's burrowed into the mulch. That's where he's living now. Hang on, I need a stick to dig in there and see where he's at. He's in there somewhere. But I wanted to show you that so you knew. Oh, there he is. See him? There he is. That's the ornery little skink who keeps tormenting my animals. He is not good to have around your animals. Now I have to put some more sauce down. But he's not good to have around your animals. He carries bacteria and fungus on him. And that causes him to be toxic to your cats and dogs. If your cats and dogs get a hold of them, they can get extremely ill. They can vomit. They can have diarrhea if you don't get it addressed and uh, figure out what's going on. And if your animal got a hold of a skink or not, then they will foam at the mouth. And then there's casualties and people, um, people do lose their animals because of the toxins that these little skinks carry. So, um... <laughs> That's one of the problems we've been dealing with. He likes to burrow in our pots and my raised bed. I put some stuff down. Um, the recipe that Ben had looked up and found for me seems to be working and keeping him off the porch. It's simply chili powder, black pepper, and white vinegar. Mix it up and then uh, spray it wherever you see these skinks. Um, I have taken it to another level and I mixed it and then I cut up a old towel and I soaked it in uh, I put the towel in there and let it get saturated I used a bread tie and just clipped it to the side so the top of the tower and the bottom of the tower you can see them there are they're secure I have red over here by my tree that I brought up here because the wind kept knocking him down. And then I have another rag over here so they don't come up this side because the cats stay in this box when they come out. So that's what we've got going on with Skink Patrol. And since I just caught him into the pot, I figured I'd better catch him and be able to do this video and share this with you so you knew what a skink is s-k-i-n-k -K. skink and um here in eastern tennessee they seem to be a common thing so just be careful make sure you're watching so your animals don't get a hold of one um if they do get them the help that they need with a vet as soon as you can or consult your veterinarian so they can tell you what to do to make sure your animal does not die so with that being said, I'm going to let you go. Today is Saturday right after Cinco de Mayo. So uh, we're trying to get as much done as we can while we've got this beautiful weather. We're supposed to have rain in the forecast. So just remember you are someone. You do matter. I love you. And I'll see you on the next video. Ciao now.